Hey everyone, how you doing? Mr. Bookman here, and today I will be reading a, a Christmas story called Santa Claus and the Three Bears by Maria Mod Dugno, illustrated by Jean Dyer and Brooks Dyer. Please enjoy. Santa Claus and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there were three bears. A great papa, a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. It was Christmas Eve, and they were busy decorating their house with hollies and berries and icicles. Papa Bear was bringing in a tree from the forest. Mama Bear was preparing Christmas pudding. And Baby Bear was busy getting in the way. Even though he was a baby, he was still pretty big. The stockings were hung and the tree was decorated. When Mama Bear called everyone to dinner, she put the Christmas pudding in a great big bowl for Papa Bear. She put some in a middle-sized bowl for herself, and she put some in a wee little bowl for Baby Bear. But when they sat down to eat, the pudding was still hot. Let's take a walk while the pudding cools, says Papa Bear. We can see all the Christmas lights, says Mama Bear. I'm coming too, said Baby Bear, and the three bears set out together. Meanwhile, Santa had finished delivering presents to everyone in the southern atmosphere and he was halfway through the northern part of the world when he his sleigh landed on the roof of the three bears house all three bears were on Santa's list for Christmas presents their house shook and rumbled as Santa Claus tumbled down the chimney. Santa stood up and brushed himself off. He looked around and saw the pudding on the table. After eating milk and cookies all night, the pudding looked tasty and warm. Christmas pudding. What a Blended idea, Santa explained, and took a spoonful from the great big bowl. This pudding was too hot, he said, and tasted like pudding in a middle-sized bowl. This pudding is too cold. He decided to move on to the pudding in the wee little bowl. This pudding's just right, he said, and he ate it all up. Then Santa Claus sat down in Papa Bear's chair. This chair is too hard, he said. He sat down in Mama Bear's chair. This chair is too soft. And then he sat down in Baby Bear's chair and it was either too hard or or too soft, but just right. So then Santa bounced up and down a little bit just to get comfortable, and the chair broke, and Santa landed, boom, on the floor. Poor Santa. (laughs) 
Santa picked himself up and decided he needed a little nap before continuing on his way. He took his sack and went upstairs where he found three beds in a row. Santa Claus lay down on the bed of Papa Bears and said, This bed is too high. And he got up and tried the bed of Mama's bear. Woo ya! This bear is too low. He said as he rode off onto the floor. Last of all, Papa, I mean Santa Claus, tried the wee little bed of baby bear and it was just right. So he snuggled under the covers and fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears were returning home. Somebody's been eating my pudding, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Someone's been eating my pudding, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. And then somebody's been eating my pudding, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice. And his and has eaten it all up. The three bears looked around and saw that someone had indeed been there. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear in the wee little voice, and has broken it into pieces. The three bears ran upstairs to see if they could find the mystery visitor. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone is sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice. And who could it be? The three bears looked at Baby Bear's bed. They saw lots of white hair, a red jacket covered with suit, and sticking out from the bottom of the blanket two black boots. It's Santa Claus, cried Baby Bear. Oh no, said, ho, 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 said Santa Claus. Promise you won't tell anyone you saw me, please. Then Santa reached into his sack Pulled out a great big present for Baby Bear, a middle-sized present for Mama Bear, and a wee little present for Papa Bear. Baby Bear was very happy. Can I open it, he asked. Not till morning, said Mama Bear. Morning, said Santa. I'd better get going. The three bears felt the house rumble and shake as Santa went up the chimney and back to his sleigh. Sorry about the chair, Santa called. I'll bring you a new one next year. And with that, Santa shook the reindeers and the reins and the sleigh took off into the night. Well, wasn't that a cute little story of Santa and the three bears? <laughs> kind of like Goldie Hawks and, <laughs> and the fox. <laughs> but, uh, how many of you had the experience of seeing Santa Claus? Let me know in the com comment box with a thumbs up. 
Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this Christmas story reading. And I want to say thank you very much for watching and enjoying. And everybody out there, you have a fabulous one. And take care. And please, during these crises, is to wash your hands. If you got a cough or sneeze, cover with your elbow. Stay your distance six feet back. And if you disaffect things, disaffect things. And please mask up. But again, I am Mr. Bootman. And this Christmas story time is over. And again, everybody, happy holidays to all of you out there. And this is Mr. Bookman, and this book reading is over.